Okay guys, welcome to the video. The bulk day 50 and today we are on a push day with Scott and if you saw yesterday's video, the full day of eating, you saw that the body weight was moving which is helping me perform pretty damn well in these training sessions, pushing some big ass weight. But today here we're setting on the gym black or four plates side PB territory, if you watch here, hit that first rep, pretty damn clean, but I felt a little twinge in my left pec, which is still trying to recover at the moment, and it's just staying tight, and because of the converging press on this, this Jim Leco piece of kit is so goddamn heavy in that stretched position, of course, where the uh, pecs are going to be more challenged, it's causing me a lot of issues just with some already tight pecs so having to be really careful with it couldn't push it came back down to three plates i think from what i remember i might have cut the uh the reps a little short on this which is you know which is cool i don't want to overstretch i can still work them plenty so a massive squeeze slight little pause at the bottom just to take control of each rep and not have to take that spring which can cause you know, further issues down the line. So yeah, as you can see, I weren't really pushing this. Um, I had to be had to be pretty careful for the session. Um, like I said, we're in the game to to build muscle, not to fucking turn muscles. Um, so I decided to do a couple couple more sets. So hit that top set of four plates for one, <laughs> if if we can even count it. Came down to three plates for a set, down to two plates, which is really light for me. Um, but again, just getting the uh, getting the reps in trying to get a good squeeze at least trying to keep volume where it needs to be in order to grow and yeah moving moving from there really when you look at the uh the position of this i'm trying to keep my elbow pretty much in line with my hand and then in line with almost like nipple level on my chest and i find that's where my, my shoulders stay healthier so my chest squeezes best and a lot of people get the uh, angle wrong when they when they train the chest, and it's not something that you should get wrong. You've got to really think about joint angles when you're training. Now, it's not the only thing you should think about, but it is vital when it comes to overall development, health of the muscle, and all that good stuff. But yeah, so that was the three sets, and then moving on from the. So I don't just want to talk through every exercise in this video because that's boring as shit. But <clears throat> what I do want to talk about today is kind of like the plan moving forward. We've got we've got about six weeks until we go away till Houston. So we're still pushing on, trying to get this body weight up. I'm not forcing body weight on and getting sloppy. And the beauty of being consistent whilst being in like a push-up gaining phase is that you're maximizing your response to food and to training. If you push your food too far, push it too fast, if you have too too many sort of off-plan meals, you know, and when I say off-plan, I don't mean like just from a flexible dieting point of view. It's more so from the point of view of going completely off track and, and blowing your calories. So let's say you, I don't know, go out for food on a Saturday and then order pizza on a Sunday and you end up blowing your calories. That sort of stuff adds up from week to week if it becomes a little bit too common. So for me, I'm being ultra consistent with hitting my uh, 4,000 calorie daily target. I'm not under eating on a single day. Some days I'll go over, maybe by a couple hundred calories max. But that's it. We're trying to get the absolute best response and put on as much muscle tissue as possible. And I think we've been, we've been pushing on now for six seven weeks in this gaining phase um it's been nine and a half weeks since a shoot my body weight is up 15 kilos i'm still looking to get another maybe like four kilos on in the next six weeks i think that's pretty reasonable if i was to say you know i want to put another kilo on per week for the next six weeks that might just be pushing it a little bit too much and things might get a little bit too sloppy but even then, we can only take things week by week. And so if you are in a gaining phase, what you've got to really focus on is, yeah, you've got to focus on scale weight. 
But it's really important to look at other aspects as well. So you have to look at your progression photos every week because the scale won't always tell you the full story. It'll, t- it'll tell you one part of the story, but not the, but not the full one. You've got to look at the photos. So if you're looking at your photos and you're heavier, but you're actually looking a little bit leaner, then that's the way it is. You know, you're not put on fat there. So for me, coming into my check-in day tomorrow with Christian, I'm up like nearly two pounds on average this week. However, I am visibly leaner, even with this gain. So I've noticed that the abs have actually leaned out a little bit, um, which is crazy. Like definitely leaned out, there's no doubt. It's so obvious to see. My arms have leaned out, so my triceps are looking a little leaner. My bicep veins are coming back in full force, and I've actually got a few shoulder veins in as well. Um, so, yeah, so if I was to just look at the scale weight and see it as, oh, we've gained a couple pounds, is that a bit too much? You know, I'm pushing on too quick, and I didn't look at my progression forward, then I wouldn't be painting that full picture. You know, you've got to, you've got to, cross-examine everything when it comes to your physique and how you're responding if we become one dimensional then we're, we're just losing so much of um of what is at our disposal you know there's a lot of tools in the toolbox and we don't want to use just one of them tools right so for me this morning i've hit an all-time high weigh-in of 106.1 kilos which is 233.9 pounds now the ultimate goal is to get up to 250 which is that would be another seven kilos ish, six and a half kilos in body weight. Okay, my original goal was to get up to that two fifty mark for going away to Houston, which would mean putting on another kilo a week and pushing it along. But I do want to feel healthy. My fitness level has just taken a little bit of a hit. I have been slacking on my cardio a touch, and I do want to be able to walk <laughs> because the uh, the back pumps are kicking in on walks. My calves are struggling a little bit. It's a bit hit and miss. I'll have like three or four good days, but then some days they'll just hit me. So something to consider um, when you are gaining weight, okay? So yeah, guys, that's the uh, that's the, the plan at the moment. Get big as fuck for Houston, right? That's all there is to this, to this gaining phase. Um, when we're in Houston, probably go into a bit of a health phase from there. You know, dial things back for four weeks, maybe even towards eight weeks until we, we come back and start blasting again. So, yeah, big goal this year, big bodybuilding goals, trying to get massive, trying to stay healthy as well. So we need to get some bloods done pretty soon and see how, how things are looking. Um, but yeah, so pretty good push day. I said push day. This is actually an upper body day. Um, as you've seen, Scott doing upper back rows and the, uh, the single arm single arm uh, pinata curl um, but yeah just finish off with some triceps here i believe we hit three to four sets of push downs just to sort of fry things off but guys i hope you enjoyed the video that was a bit of an update into the bulk and i will catch you in the next video if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe if you've not liked the video please like the video and i will see you in the next one